Uh, afterwards, he said that he said the governor basically told him that he should stop beefing with me. And then he went into this whole tirade of how he's going to, uh, oh, I'm going to donate some. Like he's so. I told him, I said, listen. I said, what's not cool is a rapper like you who's pushing forty. There's nothing wrong with age. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. But still acting like you know you're. One day he he one night he he says because the people in Philly have been saying, you know you don't even live here. Like why do you keep acting like like you're still in the trenches like and you're living a bad life. You're living a really good life. You know he lives like in one of the most expensive high rises in New York City, right? I don't know. Like he just showed off like about like ten expensive cars that sit in that car fix down in South Jersey, right? This guy's living really good. Yeah. Except he's saying that he's down to spin because people from his home own hometown said. You're not here like that. You're not actually in the hood. You're rich. He shows up at 3 a.m. in like a Maybach, driving around saying he's looking for his office. How convenient. Didn't your house get swatted though? Yes. Time? Yes. Okay, now, with all that we already discussed with Meek Mill, just picture the super thug Meek driving down his upscale neighborhood at 3 in the morning in a Maybach looking for Captain Academics or any other opposition that might be strolling through his residential Beverly Hills type of neighborhood. Then when he can't find Captain Academics, he resorts to bringing attention to his pursuit of the address of Academics, which leads to his house being swatted. Of course, with all the chaos going on, the only person who is able to calm Meek down from his murderous intentions is the governor who helped him get home after going to jail for popping a wheelie in Philly. I can't believe how bizarre Meek is and I appreciated this interview overall. This was just a small section of the interview, which was full of many great points. Check it out and let them know that Bill sent you. In conclusion, I appreciate you all and looking forward to hearing the informative and hilarious comments section. Do me and the channel a favor with a like, comment, subscribe and share. Until next time, don't forget that every day you wake up is like receiving a winning lottery ticket.